Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dig Ass Craft. Now, you might notice I'm in a cold place now, but not like a cold place like last time, but like a really cold place. See, the wiki says to find strays in cold biomes, and I took that to believe that any place that had snow in it. I think that's a reasonable assumption that any normal human would probably make. Turns out they don't mean cold, they mean goddamn frozen. Okay, so we're in a cold, cold biome. I don't actually know what it's called. I got one ring of overclocking already. Okay, I think that's the only new thing, but this has been my life for the last, like, three hours was trying to find a cold biome. So I'm all the way, and I lost my tome somehow over here. I went, I went down here, I went over here. You know, I looked a little bit more this way, it was all the way over there. I searched every single biome I had found, and then I went all the way north, and north even more, and here we are, ice villages. Now, I wasn't even looking for the strays initially, because you guys said that the easiest way to find them is in the desert, in those, like, four tower dungeon things, whatever. I was actually looking for sapphires so I could make dragon treats. I got tons now, but it, they only spawn in these biomes, those big four battle towers that we've taken on before, and the ones with the end crystals, and these villagers. So, like, they trade, uh, they trade things for sapphires, and one of those things is blaze powder, which we got tons of, not really, gas tears, and dragon bones. So I just gave them a lot of my dragon bones, because I can easily get dragon bones now. And we've got a stack of sapphire and, like, a stack and a half of, uh... Whatchamacallits? Scarlight, because I wanted to make dragon treats so I could tame a like and like dragon mob to use for my flying, because this rock boy is a little weak. We need something a little bit more beefy. Also, there's another faster one. It's like a Morok or something. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, we have one ring of overclocking, which means we can make our ox shield now. Which I'm going to do, as soon as I figure out where the heck the way shrine is. We'll actually hold off and we'll kill some more strays here in a minute because, uh, well, the sun's about to set and I kind of want two rings of overclocking so I don't have to come here and do this shit again. Savvy? Oh, one thing that kind of, I think it's actually affecting me is my helmet got a curse of harming on it because I bumped into one of those piece of shit little spirit boys and, uh, I think it's making me take a lot more damage on my head now anytime I get hit on my head, which if we don't, if you, if you can't tell, that's a bad thing. We can't be having that. Oh, also, there's a phosphorescent chupacabra. I don't know where it is. We'll find it later. It's probably under this village somewhere. But anyways, I'm probably going to make a whole new helmet because Protection 4 is not too hard to get. And maybe I'll make it red or something. I'm also wearing a cool Ender Dragon skull hat. So that's how we normally look. And boom, we got a bigger head. Just because I was looking at the quests. And yeah, I was like, oh, one of these had a cool helmet in it. So this is the life of farming for the Ring of Overclocking. Okay. It's just flying in your goddamn mouth. Smacking boys. Ah, you little bastard. Got me in your web. Oh, there's one. Man, no ring. I think it's like a 3% chance or something. We do have uh, looting too on this weapon, but that's not that great. There are forms of advanced looting, but I haven't found any. Well, maybe I have, but they're not on the weapon, which is what really matters. And yeah, I'll just continue doing this. It's pretty boring. That's why I wasn't recording, because it was literally just me flying on my mount uh, for a while. Okay, that's a lie. I actually did a couple battle towers and I got some rings. I got those potion rings that you can't make. The uh, potion ring of health boost, which is actually what I have on right now, instead of the ring of speed, which I was going to swap back to because the regeneration one wasn't really that important. Yeah, I didn't really feel it. Didn't really notice it, but I got that. I got iron skin and I got diamond skin. So we got all those, which is kind of cool. So we're not having a whole lot of luck. I'm not seeing that many strays, honestly. Let me turn off night vision just for a second. God damn it, we're getting thirsty. Here's one. Smack him. Nothing. Damn. Nothing. How about you? Nothing. Yo, look at him go. What the hell? And that guy over there is really happy to be here. Oh, hey, there's a sleeping dragon right there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we can probably kill it. All right, come to Papa. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Sneak up real quiet like. He's got how much help? A lot. Please don't kill me. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. Cool little baby. Anyways, you can use these ice uh, dragon skulls to make the wither ring, which actually looks pretty damn good. If I had a faster attacking weapon, which I don't. So, maybe not that great. And it's daytime, which means our time here is done. As long as I use my magic mirror. I saw my rock getting murdered over there. Oh yeah, these boys. I've just been breeding them. You know how it is. Alright, do we got any new criteria? Let's see, we got 14. What are these babies? 14, 16, 15, 17. Uh, da, 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 da. 21. Very nice. 20! Hey, let's kill 13s and below. I think I already did that. <coughs> Maybe we'll have to kill 14s. Yep, we're killing 14s. We see 14 dies. Oh, you're 14. It's alright. You're 14. No! I hit the gold one. That's alright, we get the golden scales we need for the disenchantment table. Damn, who's 11? You're so dying. Little baby. Get the hell out of here. 13. 
Oh, he didn't die. Oh, shit. Okay, that didn't go as smoothly as I was hoping. I accidentally killed a golden one, and I accidentally didn't kill a baby in one hit. I don't know why. Wouldn't be able to tell you. But, what we could do now, make ourselves that disenchantment table. So I'm so glad we got two of these. We need three emeralds and a disenchantment table, which we- or an enchantment table, which we got somewhere. Boom, baby. Disenchantment table. You feel? We're gonna sting this stick it right here, alright? Right there. Boom! Okay, so, uh, I've never used this before. But, we're gonna use it now. Let me put away all this crap real quick. Alright, I need books. I need books. Where are the books at? Where are all the books at? Come on, show me the books. Where are the books? Probably one of the chests down there. Oh, hold on, real quick. Let's see here. We need to combine this with a shulker heart. Get the ring of free action, alright? Now we got the, uh, let's see. We got the, uh, vitamins. The obsidian shield. Oh wait, the obsidian shield's not in it. Hold on, wait, that's, uh, after the fact. So, vitamins, the ring, I need glasses, the forbidden fruit, and the dragon scale. So, glasses, forbidden fruit, forbidden fruit, dragon scale, and then four gold ingots. Boom, baby, we got an Ankh charm, and I'm gonna put it into- You know, you guys said don't put it into the, uh, in the Ankh shield, because, you know, then you don't- you don't get the, uh, undying quality. Do I care? Do I give a shit? Yes. Well, go ahead and leave it alone for now. Alright, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good! Grants immunity to most of the negative status effects. That's pretty cool, alright? I'm not even gonna lie. No cap, my dude. So we got the Ankh Charm. That's pretty good. I really want to combine it with the Obsidian Shield. I mean, we could honestly always make another one. I just need to get another Ring of Overclocking. Ah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Cause then, cause then, uh, well, hold on. Wait, what would I put in this slot? I could put my Ring of Speed that has Undying. So I'm gonna do that. Y'all could suck my nips. Oh, I'm gonna lose the Menacing, then that's alright. It's an investment. Boom! Ring of Speed. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Alright, do I need the experience to disenchant stuff? Because that'd be pretty whack. No, I don't. But there we go, baby. Now we can pull these enchantments off, so now I can get protection 4 off of that bi- Oh, this is gonna be good, baby. Let's remake our helmet, because this helmet fucking sucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's making me take more head damage, and that's not cool, my dude. So let's see here. Uh, what color do I want it to be? We've got, uh, what do we got? We got gray. We got emerald. Emerald sounds pretty cool. We got red. We've even got white. Let's do emerald. Boom. Emerald. Alright, we got a mending somewhere, I think. Alright, we'll put the, uh, not that one. Put this on there. And then, uh, well, what's something else we could put on there? Let's see. I could put Strength and Vitality 1 on there. Oh shit, Advanced Protection 3. Fuck, I should put that on my head. Yeah, let's do that, Never mind. Good thing I can, uh, just rip this off again. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so, we should probably always put the most important enchantments first, so we can always pull them off later. Alright, so I want Advanced Protection 3. We're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna put this on the helmet. Oh no, it destroys the item. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. No big deal. Alright, so helmet. And then we do, uh, Advanced Protection 3. Boom. Then we'll put Mending on there. Hold on, well, let's find one more enchantment to put on there. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, we'll rip off, uh, Strength and Vitality off of this. Now let's combine Mending and that. Boom, baby. Get this thing off my head. Give me that one. Now we can, uh, take the Mending off of this helmet. Oh, this is so good. Oh shit, hold on, wait. Can't do that yet, hold on. We gotta pull out the, um... Gotta pull out the lining. Pull out that warm lining. Where the hell is it? Where's my stuff for that? Where are my snips, hmm? Don't prank me. Don't- you better not be joshing me. Ah, you fucking joshing me. Jesus Christ. Liner snips. Two nug- two gold, two iron nuggets, alright. We're just gonna make a bunch. Boop, boop, boop. Crafting grid, get in there. This is the gray one. Boom. Give me that. Put that warm liner in our helmet. Bam. Now we can disenchant this thing. Alright, so boom. Boom. Okay, so now we get mending back from that. Pretty sick nasty, alright? Let's see, what else we got here? Alright, so this is... Education 2, and then we got one that's Advanced Sharpness 1, which I would like to put on the, uh, on a new weapon. I don't know what weapon to do. I do like the battle axe. Maybe we should get something with cleave. Maybe I'll use this- maybe I'll do this one. Maybe I'll do the greatsword. I think the main goal we want to try and strive for now is going to the Lost Cities. The only issue with that is that <laughs> I think we are horribly- oh god. Horribly undergeared for that because of enchants. We need advanced protection and supreme sharpness, really, on our weapons to feel comfortable in there. Uh, and maybe we need to build a suit of silver armor instead. Because the overworld? Overworld's easy, alright? But what we haven't done is set up a villager breeder or anything, or work on the, uh, I've barely traded with villagers for enchantments. We have a lot in here, but they're not really that great. They're all low level. Things that I've found, and moisturized. Hey, underwater strider, we could pull this off with a book. This one too, strength and vitality one. I'll probably go through and just disenchant all of these, because, well, that's why I was holding onto them. 
They've no other point to me. So we will swap over our overworld armor to full dragon. So I'll do that right now. I'll get a set of protection four and mending gear. Wish I had some more dumble jump boots, but apparently I don't. So now we're a bit more defensive, a bit beefier if you would. We don't have our temperature adjusting lining, but that's all right. But the bright side is that our health is a bit higher now. Now we can reforge these, so I completely forgot about that. I need to look up what the best modifier is. So we're looking for masterful, are we? Oh, there we go. Ah, locational armor. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and get these all to masterful, and then we'll see where we're at. All right, we're rocking a whole set of masterful dragon armor with protection four on everything. Except the helmet that has advanced protection three. So we should be really beefy now. But still not beefy enough to go into the end. Not the end. The uh, lost whatever dimension. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we are. Who knows? But I probably should put on breaking on this armor too. Or it's going to break. Like right away. Also, I have underwater strider now. So let's see how fast I move. Hey, look at that. I'm gonna kill myself with that, Jesus. Now, I would swap to a temporary weapon. So here's the thing, right? We want, uh, what we want in the end, end goal here. All right, listen to me. Sentient Scythe. All right, that'd be pretty cool. But to get the Sentient Scythe, we need to be in the Lost Cities dimension. Okay, and that's a, that's a problem. All right, because we need stuff for that. Whoa, the hell? You fucking get out of my... How dark is this place? Oh, that would explain it. Anyways. Oh, I didn't even explain this. Um... I moved the wall, I expanded the wall, I expanded the basement. I finished the walls, kind of. This still needs to be fixed. But now we got all our wine brewing here. It's pretty good. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Tons of wine brewing. Tons, these aren't all full, so don't pay attention to that. But, tons of wine. Tons of wild berry wine, at least. Look, these are all wild berry wines and juices. These are all regular wines. So we're ready. We're ready to drink uncontrollably. So this is great. I love the attack speed. I love the reach distance. But what is legendary? That's what I want to find out. So we've got diamonds. Let's put them to use. There we go. Slightly less attack speed, but goddamn 15% attack damage. That's pretty good. And we kept the 0.5 reach distance. So that's pretty cool. I wish I would... Okay, so I would make a flaming dragon bone weapon if... I could take that advanced sharpness too off of this and also the envenomed. We don't have envenomed, but we kind of need that. So we're gonna have to do some villager breeding. Get ourselves some library boy. Hey! What the hell? But on the bright side, we're beefier than we were before. Oh god, your boy doesn't have double jump anymore. That's atrocious. That is atrocious. <laughs> I really feel it. But anyways, that's it for today's episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.